Hello, this is Ron McCullough, consultant podiatric surgeon. This is just a quick update on our recommended tennis shoe for people who have four foot pain, Morton's neuroma, particularly if they have a degree of abnormal pronation. And by that, I mean excessive collapse of the arch and ankle, a less stable arch. And there'll be more videos, and I have done more videos explaining exactly what pronation is. So traditionally, the shoe we've always recommended is the ASICS Resolution. This is an excellent tennis shoe. Um, we uh, recently uh, tested this particular model and what we found was that uh, in a heavy pronator it was a little bit disappointing in that the shoe did start to distort a bit sooner than ideal. So um, also when we did our biomechanical measurements and we have a gate laboratory why we, where we technically measured the performance of the shoe we found it was pretty good but we just wondered whether there were any potential improvements. Uh, particularly because of the distortion of this shoe. Now, this was a very heavy pronate to this particular patient. That was the issue. However, we found uh, a better solution. Uh, this is the ASICS Resolution X. Now, this shoe is far more stable. Um, the uh, wearer used it for about the same amount as the previous resolution, and uh, we found this shoe maintained its structural integrity much, much better. So we are now recommending the A6 Resolution X as the go-to tennis shoe, a shoe you can also use for other multi-directional activities in the gym, etc. as an all-surface sole. So it's an excellent shoe for any multi-directional activity and better and more stable than many of the other trainers which might be specific for those activities. So this is the shoe we're recommending. Now, I just wanted to explain that the basis of that is yes, it is partly, of course, feedback from the user, but that is not the most important criteria. In our gate laboratory, we do a number of very sophisticated tests. We do in-shoe pressure tests, we do mat testing, we do force plate testing, we do three-dimensional movement analysis. And through that, we're able to track and really look at the in-depth performance of the shoe. And this is what we're interested in. It's all very well, patients saying, look, this shoe feels great. And of course, if you go on your kind of average YouTube video, you'll see lots of subjective feedback about how well the, the shoe perceives to perform, but that's not really what we're most interested in. We wanna know hard facts. Does this shoe actually improve the symmetry of forces passing through the body? Does it improve the center of pressure progression? Does it improve the relative pressures of the forefoot so that they're more normal? Because that's what's gonna determine whether somebody gets forefoot pain, whether they become injured as a consequence of neuroma, particularly from conditions like Morton's neuroma, but any uh, pronation related uh, injury. So abnormal pronation can cause shin pain, knee pain, etc. And we're really interested in knowing that these biomechanical measurements that we do show definitive improvements. We use AI and other technology to quickly gather all the data so we can give our patients a really scientific perspective as to whether a shoe is better for them or not. And in this case, categorically, I can say both from feedback, from the distortion of the shoe, and from the biomechanical tests that we've done, that the Resolution X is the go-to shoe for stability, and we can certainly recommend it.